Hi, this is Jody from MCPActions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Mini Fusion and Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness actions in Photoshop CS2 and up. I'm working today in CS5, so my palette may look different than yours, but I'm going to be going ahead and showing you how to use these actions. The first thing you're going to do is load your actions in according to the at Installing Actions video, and then you'll see Mini Fusion Actions folder here. Once you've loaded it in, and you'll just click on the arrow to open it up, click on the Mini Fusion Action, MCP Mini Fusion, and click Play. And it'll just take a second to run, and it's done running. And then you'll see it's already made a different look to your photo. And it will tell you what to do here if you look at the Layers palette. You'll see it says Mini Fusion Open to Adjust. If you want to adjust any of the main parts of the photo, like for example the clarity or the contrast, anything like that, you'll just highlight the layer and either go click on the arrow to drop down and increase the opacity or click on the word opacity and you'll get two arrows and you can slide to the right or left. So if I want to add a little bit more haze, for example, I would increase the hazy layer. Once you are done with that, you'll minimize that folder and you can open up the toning folder. By default, no tones are applied. You can click on or off any of the tones or all of the tones and mix them. So right now I've got all of them on, but I might want to go ahead and increase the opacity of certain tones while decreasing the opacity of other tones. So again, you'll see I'm hovering on the word opacity and I change it that way by just going to the right or left. Once you've added the tones, sometimes it will take away some of the contrast. So if you wanted to add back some contrast, you could again open the bottom folder. This is Mini Fusion, open to adjust. And you could go ahead on one of the contrast layers and increase the contrast a bit. Then, when you're done, if your photo, or if you want to do this at the beginning, either way is fine, if your photo is too light or too dark, hover on either the increase opacity to brighten layer or increase opacity to darken. So if this photo was looking a little bit too bright, I could increase opacity. The default is at zero. And so I'm going to move that up to about 11%. So that's how I would use the mini fusion action. Now, if I want to add a little bit more interest, I could go ahead and also use touch of light, touch of darkness. Again, I open up that action and click play, and you'll see it runs extremely fast. There's touch of light, and here's touch of darkness. When using this action, I like to use a brush around 30%. You may prefer something a little bit more or less, but I like to use a brush at 30%. Touch of light is to actually paint light onto the photo. So we take our brush tool, so you select the brush tool, and you're gonna change the opacity down lower. So as I mentioned, I like a 30% brush. Make sure your brush is set to normal and flow at 100. And I'm going to go ahead here and zoom in just a little bit to this picture. Uh, her skin is already very light, so I don't want to actually add any light to that. But you could actually add dimension, for example, on the skirt. You want to make sure your brush is set to white. It Mine is, but see where it's white right there in the foreground. If it's not, D will put your brushes at default. X will swap the black and white so you can put white in your foreground. So you can see I just added a little bit of dimension to her shirt. Now I'm gonna click on the mask. Again, make sure it's the black mask that's selected for touch of darkness. This time I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna make my brush bigger, which is the right or left bracket keys. Left bracket key makes your brush smaller. Right bracket key just above your enter or return makes it bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and darken the edges of this picture. This will give it a very natural looking vignette. You'll see I'm kind of working my way in a little bit. And then that's the first pass at 30%. I'm going to do a second pass as well, just around the very last parts of the edges. And then let's go ahead to the history palette. I'm going to use this middle button right here to create a snapshot to show you the before and after. Here's our before image. It's a great image to start with. And here is our after. Now we're going to go ahead and work on one more photo today. We're going to go ahead and click on Mini Fusion and we're gonna click play, and you'll see it runs extremely fast. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Mini Fusion to see if there's anything we wanna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of haze, so I increase the opacity of the haze layer, and maybe a little bit more clarity. Clarity's at 48, I'm gonna bump that up a little bit to 57. Now I minimize that, and I'm gonna go ahead and play with the tones. 
I click on the yellow tone and actually I saw there was a color cast, a blue color cast in her eye and actually that fixed it. So I've increased the tone. I'm going to increase that a little bit more. So I've got on cloud nine at 40%. I'm going to go ahead and play with pink Cadillac and I'm going to do that a little lower. And there's pink Cadillac at 13%. Then if my photo is too light or too dark, I can use the increase or decrease opacity. It's a little bit bright actually. So I would come in here where it says increase opacity to darken. And I would just increase that up just a tiny bit. <laughs> Lastly, let's go ahead and run touch of light, touch of darkness. You don't need to use these actions together, but you can. And we already have our brush opacity set at 30 from the last picture. I'm gonna zoom out a bit here so you can see this and I'm gonna paint on the background. And what you'll see is it can make that background quite rich and it'll put the emphasis on the girl instead of on the background. So I'm gonna darken up that background. And if I let go of my mouse and click a second time and paint, you'll see that it adds a second pass of darkness. So there's our look. Let's go ahead into the history palette. And again, that middle icon at the bottom will create a snapshot. Here's our before image. And here's our after image. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Again, this is Jody Friedman from mcpactions.com. To download the Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness action in Mini Fusion, visit my website. Thank you so much and have a great day.